Welcome back, Mahula friends and Mahula friends, to You Know Who and, well, You Know Where. Uh, today we take a look at Snooker Nation Championship. Now, just to let you know, <clears throat> I barely know how to play snooker. And uh, some people who might know me and some people who might remember me, yes, I... Uh, I have some experience with uh, American, not American, but so I would say nine ball, eight ball. Um, used to do some crazy games uh, with nine ball, eight ball, a lot of house rules, uh, never any official tournaments, but yeah. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at what this is. So uh, Snooker, from what I heard and what I read, <laughs> what I read, okay, what I saw in another YouTube video is that I have to hit a red ball first before I can hit any other colored balls. And then depending on the colored ball is points that I get to rack up. So uh, let's just take a look at how this game plays in the sense of the feel and everything. So right now you hit O to get the overhead view. <clears throat> and then there's your uh, first person view and everything. Very nice. The thing about this is that, you know, it's a virtual game for snooker so you get to draw back like this you power you can hit space to lock the uh, the power level in or whatever things like that you, you see all that so the problem with this is <clears throat> not the problem this is a virtual oh did i get one in no i didn't yellow Huh, okay. Uh, well, just to let you know, um, virtual games like this is nice, but then everyone will tell you a virtual game is not like actually playing the real game in real life. Oh, I thought I got that in. Uh, because everything is... There are so many variables. Um, variables in, of course, <clears throat> not just in sense skill, but uh, so many things. You know, if your hands are sweaty, if you if you're tired, if you're fatigued, um, control personal control of the cue. Uh, a lot of people have different ways to shoot the cue, different positions, hand positions, things like that. So yeah, why is that trail red? That's blue. So, you, you click left, you left click and you hold back for the power space to lock the power level. Push forward on the mouse to release, and there you go. <clears throat> so, I'm not so sure if the angles here, the, the color, the angle, um, makes any difference. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I thought I got that in. I should have gone an overhead. But it's nice. It's nice. It's it's a nice game. It's very mechanical. I mean, if you know how to do things and strategize when it comes to um, when it comes to pool, sorry, pool billiards uh, virtually like this, uh, this is a good game. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know. I uh, I love the graphics. They're simple enough. The the representation. If you can see there, look at it, the virtual crowd in the background. They're moving slightly. That's nice. That's a nice little a little thing to, to take a look at. Um, but well, all I have to say is but nice. All I have to say is that. Uh, Playing a game like this virtually, if anyone thinks that doing this game uh, will help you in playing billiards or playing snooker, yes and no, it will help you in certain ways. It will help you in thinking, it will help you in strategizing, but it will not help you in technique. 
it'll help you in say okay with this position where do i go at this position in this situation where do i go what do i do next it's good to think about that but the problem also is that when it comes to tournaments and real tables and like this i'm a fairly short guy so certain shots like this look at this and i'm um and i'm right-handed so making a shot like this from this angle leaning over the table okay it would be like almost impossible for me to do so you know this game in a sense is nice and fun and will help you in thinking of how to strategize in playing the game and it's nice to do a little you know a uh, virtual <clears throat> how can I say a virtual tournament online things like that but uh, yeah um, your results uh, your my your my <laughs> excuse the term ladies and gentlemen but yes your mileage may vary your experience may vary where that certain things like in shooting techniques position posturing um, you know your relative height to the table and everything else in real life is gonna change or is gonna be varied whether you're gonna see that this is so simple but yeah as, as you can see everything is virtual so um will I play this I don't know I may play this but I'm just taking a look at this I'm liking the physics the physics are perfect of course the physics are exactly perfect you know there's no chance of you hopping a ball um, well, I don't know. I don't know if they built it in with it. If there's if there's a chance for you to hop the ball, you know. Um, at the same time, from what I see here, is that you can't do any uh, move shot, take shot, free. I'm trying to see spin, spin. Oh, there we go. We can we can hit. Ah, uh, very nice. Look at that. You can do a spin. You can do trick. You can kind of do. Oh, look at that even up and down you can do trick shots and things like that look at that it's even calculated at all that's nice because what I'm doing is home holding the right uh, right mouse button and you can see that the path is curving a little bit as I'm moving and the Q position is moving so yeah if I want to do that oh see no uh, all the physics has been calculated which is nice but then like at the same time I don't know if they've calculated as to how to um, how to um, uh, calculate certain there, there are certain variables and things like that probably part of physics that they haven't taken into account to but maybe they have uh, I'll have to admit I'll have to think that they did but I'll admit, I'm liking the beauty of it, the simplicity, at the same time, as much as you can in this, trying to eyeball, see, at the same time, if you wanted to, it's like, try to eyeball the angle. Ah, I tried to eyeball the angle, see? So, eh. uh, I know, I know, I, I'm not sounding very... <clears throat> I mean, I'm, this is my first look at it. I'm, I'm trying to enjoy the game at the same time, give you my past experiences because, yeah, yeah, there's some trick shots and things like that that you could probably try to do in this, but I don't know. Let's see. Like I said, you can hit right mouse button does this so that you can put a different spin on the, <clears throat> on the cue ball. Things like that. Actually, if I want to do this, can I? Oh yeah, it'll it'll stay there. That's nice. So if I wanted to go, hmm. Yeah, if you do that too strong, yeah. Um. So all I gotta say is that experienced billiards, pool, snooker players will see as to what I'm talking about. Um, that I think this game has, oh, you can't, yeah, it won't allow for, it won't allow for like a, a trick shot type of a deal thing. Hmm. 
Can I do this with authority? Oh. Jeez. They did that slow animation. I was like, I put a little, all the power into it. I want it to be a thud. Uh, I forgot what they call this. A cannon? Let's see if I can do this, ladies and gentlemen. Black into the red. Oh no, I get I got past the red. I can't eyeball it. Now the funny thing is that I don't know if this game is going to support VR, but uh, this would be nice. I think it'll be nice. I'm tr no, 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 no. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm trying to get used to this in a sense of, you know, I want to aim and then the trick shot. Not trick shot, but then curve the ball. Oh, ah. Oh. What happened? Ah. Oh just have to get used to the that's another thing is that depending on what you guys are thinking of because I'm, I'm trying to translate what I want to do from my experience into the game and you just have to get used to it a little bit because it's like what do you do first do you aim then you sh I guess you sh set up the cue for what you want to do then you aim then power okay now I don't like that the slow motion animation into the pocket like that because I want to see I would like to see that in real time I would like to see the real speed in that uh, it might there might be an option for that but I don't know Ooh, let's try this uh, no I thought that was hugging the rail anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed taking a look at how this game looks Ah, uh, the yellow ball was in the way. I was about to call it the one ball. Sorry, yeah, the one ball is yellow. Two, uh, blue ball is two. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching um, me taking a look into this. Um, I would love to have somebody else play this with me. Mahula doesn't have this game. I'm going to see if we can try to pick it up uh, sometime soon and try, try to play a couple games against each other. He doesn't like competitive. We actually generally don't like competitive games, but this itself is a nice, friendly competitive game. I think um, competitive game for a civilized world. I don't know. Anyway, uh, all I can say is thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully I showed you guys enough of the game to be interesting. Um, anyone out there who, and I'm not saying who would want to challenge me. I don't, I'm not going to be any good. Anyone who would like to um, have a couple of co-op games, maybe we can, um, not co-op games, what am I saying? I'm, I'm so used to saying co-op games, I'm saying if anyone would like to play a game against me just so that we can get a couple of <clears throat> um, episodes, a couple of games onto the channel, I'd love to do that. A couple, I mean, you know, with some of you guys, uh, let me know, comment, and, uh, you know, we'll work something out. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for, you know... Thank you guys for your love and support. We ask for your continued love and support by liking, favoriting, sharing. <clears throat> Tell your folks, your friends, your non-friends, your family, 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 family members, uh, frenemies, non-friends, complete strangers about the Mahula Brothers. Uh, give us those clicks. Uh, if this is your first time on the Mahula Brothers YouTube channel, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming on and uh, come on and uh, subscribe join the family and uh, so you get to enjoy and see more of the mahula madness and the mahula fun if you are a returning subscriber thank you for watching and checking out uh the new the new game acquisition um and yeah if you guys want to challenge me go ahead And, you know, as you can see, I'm trying to eyeball these angles like I would in real life. So, um, yeah, stay thirsty, keep frosty out there, and be safe. As always, um, we take risks for you in this virtual world so that you and your wallets 
don't have to. Oh, I always do that with the corner pocket. Uh, old habits die hard. Look at that. Thanks a lot, guys. Let me know. Leave a comment.